Today we're in Fredericksburg, Texas. We just had lunch at Outdoor Spear Garden and now we're heading across town to go to the National Museum of the Pacific War. Let's go check it out. I really enjoyed this museum. I liked the history of it and I just found it very fascinating. The, the museum is laid out really cool. You go in and it starts with the 19th century and it talks about the things like the opium wars and the conflict between China and Japan when it came to Korea. And it kind of takes you through those steps through World War I, through the Great Depression, America's attitude towards the war, all the way into when the war begins with Pearl Harbor. And it was the room about Pearl Harbor that I found the most interesting. My grandfather was actually wounded in Pearl Harbor. He was on the USS Utah, and it's the only ship besides the Arizona that's actually still in Pearl Harbor today. In the Pearl Harbor exhibit, they have one of the Japanese midget subs in there, which is still pretty big, it's 78 feet long, but on the wall behind it, they tell the story of Pearl Harbor, and it's just fascinating to sit and listen to that and kind of know that piece of history with my grandfather and him surviving the attack. And one of the things that he talked about is when they got over to Ford Island, they were all cut up from the barnacles on the bottom of the boat having to jump off. They were bloodied, they were bruised. They're hunkered down inside this drainage ditch. And all of a sudden, he talks about how all the air seemed to be sucked out of their bodies and sucked away from them. And suddenly there was this loudest noise he'd ever heard. It knocked everyone to the ground and no one could hear anything for a couple of minutes. And when they did finally start hearing again, their ears were ringing for a while. Um, and that was when the Arizona exploded. When they came back up and looked, they thought they had been bombed, but then they realized it was the Arizona that exploded. And we actually got to see a piece of the Arizona there. They have one of the hatches and there's a hole at the top where the divers cut out to look and see if there's anyone still alive inside. So just seeing that part of history was was really fascinating and and humbling just to kind of to actually see the relics that were part of that. As the museum goes on, it's laid out in chronological order. So you go through all the different battles of the Pacific, go through all of the different campaigns. There's lots of different things to see, field artillery, tanks, airplanes, all kind of stuff. And at the very end of the exhibit, you get into where they do the signing of the surrender. And so that was really interesting just to see the chronological flow of it. They say to allow four hours or so for this tour. I would say more than that if you're going to read the signs. I read maybe a tenth of what was actually on the, the displays themselves, and it took me three and a half hours to get through. So if I were actually going to sit and read everything, it would be an all the day. Now, the really cool thing about this museum is when you buy your ticket, it's good for 48 hours, so you can keep going back over and over again and kind of dive into it. There are different three different parts of this museum. Um, there's the main gallery that we went through, there's the Nimitz Museum, and then the, a couple blocks down there's another museum, and it's all one admission. And the one down the street, the I think they call it the Pacific Conflict, um, inside of that complex there was a simulation of the inside of an aircraft carrier, and then they had a full-size PT boat, so that was interesting to see. All in all, I'd highly recommend it. I would definitely go back. I want to go back sometime just to, to sit and take my time to go through it. I think that'd be really cool. So highly recommend it. It's the National Museum of the Pacific War in Fredericksburg, Texas. Definitely worth checking out. Also lunch, not too bad. Thanks for watching, you guys. I appreciate it. Lots of different things I'm editing right now, so hopefully I'll be able to get a lot of content out in a short amount of time. But it's crazy life. You know how it goes. Anyway, I appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching. Take care, y'all.